am proud to be a Spartan. I'm so proud of my school. I'm still really grateful for the school that I go to because they've provided me with a ton of resources. So I'm still really proud of the school itself. As far as what's going on in the news and with our president, I think that it's it's kind of a, you know, a tug, kind of like a conscious thing. It's like, yeah, it's not great to hear about. It's not great that it's in the news. And it's definitely something that I'm disappointed to know that it's coming from my university. Right now, it doesn't feel like that good, but I feel like through all, all these actions and allegations that we're coming together more, you know? Like, obviously, I think there's everyone's on the same page at this university as far as what needs to be done and, like, how we feel about, like, the president and all the board directors. And so I think throughout all this, like, all the protests and students coming together, I think it's going to make us closer as a university and focus more on the things that make us Spartan. Uh, right now, being a Spartan, it kind of feels a little shameful. I'm kind of disappointed in my university the officials of MSU and how they're choosing to handle this situation. And if you Google MSU sexual assault failures and stuff, there's so many cases that just get swept under the rug. I have a friend who, her perpetrator said that he did it. He said that she said no, and he still goes here. He still goes here. I feel like our foundation at MSU is really um, interrupted. I feel like. It's, it was built upon some things that were not right. If this has been going on for as long as it's been going on, it makes me feel like, what does it, it makes me question, what does it really feel like to be a Spartan? It's more than just to be at the school. It's uh, kind of we all come together as a team, kind of fighting all together. I think there was a lot that built up to it, and uh, with how she was being viewed in the media, I mean, it was almost, she has to. Honestly, she may need to resign because sexual assault has been going on for too long on this campus and she hasn't had much to say about it nor has she done much about it you know we can have those sexual assault seminars online but you know how helpful has that been in the community people are still being sexually assaulted we've had a, like a doctor here sexually assaulting gymnasts you know and even to go to the olympics and sexually assault those gymnasts and it's, it's basically hidden it's, it's no way you can tell me that this has been going on for as long as it has been going on and no one knew about it Though I see how horrendous the situation we are in right now, I personally don't uh, call for Luana Simon's re resignation because I think she's been with us for over the decades and done, has done amazing things. And even though I see why many students want to place the blame on her, I think the blame can be attributed to uh, different departments. And if you're not going to actually lead a university and lead your mission, you're not doing your job as president.